Hey guys, welcome to another commentary with Perfect. This is a uh, friendly game I played with a buddy of mine on Cockatrice named Virtus. He's uh, running the uh, Goto Bandit Warrior. Let me scroll over that real quick. It's a pretty cool general actually. Um, grabs you some equipment, puts it straight onto the yard or into the uh, battlefield. So you can grab some stupid stuff like Batter Skull or Swords of Feast of Famine or um, uh, Greaves. He gets an early gamble out and he tosses Mog. He went straight for the crypt. As you notice, I'm playing uh, the Mimeoplasm, by the way. And so, um, this matchup is all about making sure that my grave is clear before I start casting these huge anime spells. Um, I'm looking pretty okay, actually. I have Maelstrom Pulse in hand, so I, just, I have some way to get rid of Crypt, and I also have Show and Tell. And Show and Tell is one of the most stupid cards. And there you go, I, I draw my land, so I get my free Show and Tell. <laughs> and I just start, I, I decide to, uh, to sing a little bit. Instead of going actually for the Show and Tell, I'm gonna go for the Maelstrom Pulse right here. And I need to get rid of this crypt. It's going to be really important because um, here's the the game plan is kill crypt. Then we're going to put Jin into play, and we're going to draw human mount of cards, and we're going to shut him out. And we're putting Jin into play off the show and tell. And then at the end of the turn, we'll discard, and we should have enough creatures in the graveyard that by the time the Mimeoplasm comes out, he's going to be a beast. Virtus takes a quick break, so I'm just going to speed up through here. Oh, and he's back, actually. Never mind. So, so far, we're looking at the board. He's got a Goblin Welder. This thing is really monstrous in the de in his deck. And he's also got Spike Shot Elder. This thing is actually also super dangerous, because what happens is you can start equipping it with a bunch of swords, and you can make it to, like, a 5-5, five five, and if you notice his ability, you can literally ping someone for, like, 10 damage really, really easily. Alright, so I get my show and tell, um, and you see I get an early gin, and at this point it's it's not good for him. I, I, I draw into Living Death, which is the best animate spell in the deck. I just discard it, and if you guys look, I have Grave Titan and Sphinx in the grave. I have Demonic Tutor. I mean, on, there's really not much he's going to be able to do here that's going to protect him. He gets the Elder, but he can't do anything because I have Jin. Now if I block, he so he can't ping me. By the way, Elder doesn't have enough. Um, he doesn't have enough mana. Puts Greaves into play, and he's gonna attach that to Elder. Is that right? Hmm. Or is he gonna try to protect Elder here? No. Nope. He, he, okay. So he he Welder is really really good in this deck because it gives him access to get crit, and I understand this. I realize this. And so I preemptively actually um, go out of my way to go find something to get rid of Crypt so that I can cast Mimeoplasm in time. So here, here's some interesting plays in the deck. So if you guys look, I have Demonic Tutor in my hand. I'm going to play my land. I don't know what he's bitching about. <laughs> I love you, Virtus. Um, let's see. We're waiting around... So, <laughs> as you notice, I write it in chat. So, um, I know that this is, like, I'm going to get baited by Welder. So what he's going to do is he's going to probably sack Greaves, and he's going to go pick out Crypt right before I'm about to cast Mimeo, and I'll cast Mimeo and it'll fizzle. So, in order to avoid this, I've gone super, super far out of my way. Also, I've also dropped Survival, which is, it's just going to break it, too. And I went and got Grip. Now, what's great about Grip is it's split second. So even if he tries to crack the Crypt in response, he can't. It's impossible. I draw another 7, and then I'm going to discard down again, and look what I have in my grave. Gristlebrand, Shield, Massacre Worm. It's, it's pretty much game at this point. As long as I make, sh I'm, I'm, I make sure that um, Crypt is not alive right before I cast Mimeoplasm or an animate spell. 
I also have Stitch Together in my uh, hand as well too, so I have a free, um, I have a free anime. And I don't think he sees this play. I, I don't, I don't know if he realized what I was doing with my demonic tutor because normally I'll go for my living death, but I actually already have it, so it didn't even matter. All right, and I go for the survival. No, what am I doing? What did I decide to do here? Nope, nothing. I think what I was I was contemplating there was. All right. So uh, if you see here, I fe I fed Gristlebrand through, and why I didn't do it last turn is because I got very very worried that he was gonna do some sketch thing, like try and um crypt at the very end of the turn and I would lose my gristle brand which is a really key component of this deck but I guess I already have Jin out so it's okay alright so here he goes he's gonna do his welder things there's his welder tactics and smash watch this response I get the grip I avoid it And I'll still get the stitch together. And what's great about this is I'm going to go get Massacre Worm and I'm going to snipe Welder before he can try to redo it again. Yep. It was a really good play on my part. Um, and that's the correct play here. Some people might have like been like, oh my god, look, I have Living Death. Like I should play that right away. My graveyard's huge. But you also have to take into account, like, is there in any way that he could disrupt your graveyard? That's one of the biggest problems about playing um, reanimator decks is you don't know sometimes, and people are very like good players will usually hold on to their hate until the very end of a game, right before you're about to cast that minion. So he draws into uh, pithing needles. It's not really going to help him. He's going to get it. He's going to get a freebie on survival. Maybe. I'm not sure what's going to save him here. He needles, he can't cast Godo, and he can't swing at me with Elder. He can ping me, however. I want to point that out. So he can, he still does have Elder mana. All right, and at this point, it's pretty much game. Now, I have the possibility of either dropping Living Death, or I could drop Shriold. And I take the very, very safe route, and I drop Shriold. I'm going to just kill him slowly instead of doing it quick. Because I'm not 100% sure if he might reanimate something big. And I don't want him to get Welder back again, too. So I'm not really super keen on giving him a living death right now. Plus, I have a ton of mana. I take a while to think about this, by the way. I, it, it was kind of a weird decision for me. Alright, so I decided to just choke him out. And then I'm going to pass. And I think at this point he realizes it's pretty much game. Yeah. He knows. He knows it's up. Upkeep, he's going to sack that Muta Vault. Yep. That's what I would have done. And there's just not much he can do. I just locked him out. It was a good game. Um, that's a, <clears throat> how majority of my Mimeo get and Plasm get. Um, yeah, Mimeoplasm games go. It's a lot of really early discard, and then you get a big spell, and then you just snowball your way to victory. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that match. I might upload a few other ones of my Mimeoplasm deck, because I've been playing that quite a bit recently. Thanks again for listening.